I do have an announcement. An, an announcement here, everybody. Are you ready? The show now begins at 8.50 Pacific, 11.50 Eastern. Got it? Yeah, I was late. Luckily, we have virtually nothing to talk about today. That's true. <laughs> because we watched the main event number five, which I don't even know how we're going to get 15 minutes out of this show. <laughs> but God damn it, I still want you to be here on time for our Twitch homies, or whatever they are. YouTube top tier. Not even on Twitch. A well-executed match you described this as. I enjoyed it. I thought this match fucking sucked. Well, I thought the match was fine-ish. I'm s- fine-ish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fine-ish. Was- as in shit-ish. Okay. I'm in a mood. I see. That's clear. She was on her knees right in front of the Warriors' ding-dong. The ding-dong warrior. Ridiculous. He was a dingo warrior at one point. Exactly. For once, Vinny explained the joke. Usually it's the (laughs) other way around. Savage smashes the royal scepter over Warrior's head, and I don't know what they gimmicked that with, but it looked brutal. What I thought it was was like paper mache, like a... uh, like a pinata. They filled it with I hope I hope so. With I candy. Hope so. That actually would have been funny if candy had flown out of this. Did you notice that Adnan had spilled something all down the front of his shirt in catering, I'm sure? Hulk Hogan gets hit with a chair and he goes down and he does this. Next thing you know, he's bleeding. Sergeant Slaughter's opponent in Los Angeles will be <coughs> Hulk Hogan. Yes, he coughed into the microphone before making the announcement. Craig is paying intense in t- attention to your uh, review here, Vinny. He's, he's watching TikTok videos on his phone. <laughs> he's supposed to be paying attention. Now, what I'm going to do here, by the way, before I play this, is... Uh, I'm not going to do it. You go out there and taunt Marcus' family, and the mom you, and you put your hand on her and push her, and... Uh, the dad gets mad and he gets up and put his in your face so you him and then you get I sure back. did oh that was the worst I ever watched in my life all Joe has to do is go behind two guys you get one guy's in one hand this is the black belt in me talking you get the other guy's in the other hand and you put both hands behind your head and you squeeze and you <laughs> both guys I mean how much more of the book is left well, let's see. We're on page 26. And my numb fingers. There, There's a last page. It says face to face. Then there's pictures. I can't get there yet. 43. There's 43 pages in the book. Well, here we go. Undertaker and Kane versus Chronic. Number one, uh, the big problem here was Chronic. Yes. I don't know if you guys what? are aware of that or not. <laughs> It's all fucked up. It's all kinds of horrible. And here is where, in real life and on non peacock sites, you can hear the Undertaker scream, Fuck! As loud as he can. I'm just trying to, you know, to interrupt this matchup to no avail the jawbreaker by Adams. I used to do magic. If you do like coin magic or whatever, you fuck something up, well, you got to keep going and you hope nobody noticed. You don't just fucking start throwing the coins up in the air. Ah, fuck this thing. That's what the Undertaker did. The bleeders on this show were Perry Saturn, Edge, Christian, Chris Jericho, and in the main event, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Excellent job, Vinny. Thank you. Let me tell you something about this challenge, everybody. The challenge did 660,000 viewers. Okay. 494,000 of them were 18 to 49. That is an unreal number. Well, as someone who is not technically out of the demo, but let's be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the demo. Uh, I have no idea what the challenge is. I have no idea who's on it, what's going on. Now, the biggest There's thing, too many shows I'm watching There's now. too many shows, and those shows in particular, you have the Impact Champions, our regulars on AEW. Yeah, I'm watching Impact. How could you not like, confuse them a little bit? Fuck, I'm watching Impact, and I'm watching Ring of Honor, and I'm watching New Japan Strong and AEW, and everybody is on every show. Yes. Like, it's impossible to keep anything straight now. Am I wrong, or did Swerve has it have his grill back? I wasn't paying attention. No one knows. Mm-hmm. That's great. That honestly is the catchphrase. WWE NXT, no one knows. And then Ted DiBiase comes out. 
and forgets what he's doing. God. And what he's supposed to say and where he's supposed to be. They're just staring at him and he's frozen. And I'm like, somebody give him a fucking cue. But he's just frozen. Either Adam Cole's going to the main roster or Adam Cole is leaving. Either way, he's leaving NXT. So why not just do a leave, Loser Leaves Town match? You could. Meng sprays mist in Drake's eyes and Boa wins the Ying. Game. It's funnier to say Meng. I know it's Mei Ying, but if you say it fast, it's Mei Ying. It sounds like Meng. All right, whatever. And she moves in to kiss him and then covers the camera. These two do not want to kiss each other. When they started booking this program in the first place, did no one go to Indy and or Dexter and say, are you guys okay kissing on camera? Now you're trying to tell me, a viewer on the USA Network, that this man is the man who is going to beat the unbeatable champion? This was one of the dumbest things I ever saw. Vinny, you're better off reviewing Impact at this point. I know you don't I, want I, to, I'm, I don't, I'm, but I'm telling you. I, I, I don't have a strong argument to make the, the opposite. I've been watching Impact every week, as is abundantly clear on this show, <laughs> and it is it is far less nonsensical than this program right here. Yeah. And he passes his apple to Wardlow, and Wardlow's pissed off, and he crushes the apple in his <laughs> he hands. He crushed it. I think this might have been a pre-cut apple. I think his fingers are just razor sharp, Brian. Have you seen this guy? Just like a razor sharp fingers. I was not blown away for anything in the Olympic gymnastics competition like I was for Dante Martin in this match. I could not believe how high he jumped before executing all of these maneuvers. Jim Ross's line, gravity has nothing to do with him. Well. Is, that's, that is poetic right there and it's exactly right. Gravity does not like Dante Martin. It's, it's, like, it's like disrespectful, disdainful to Dante. Away with you, gravity says, and he flies off. It's a championship match. It's tomorrow. There's going to be a title change. It's going to be probably a really good match. Hot start for Rampage. Mm -hmm. It tells you immediately this is an A show. Mm -hmm. It makes the pay-per-view match more important. Mm -hmm. And you don't waste a Kenny Omega, Daniel Bryan match, or whatever. Those you can build up for even bigger pay-per-views down the road. There is a lot at stake for Andrade here. Because his AEW run has been underwhelming. This is his biggest match by far. And if it does not go well, he is in high danger of being lost in the shuffle. It's so goofy that when you watch it, there's that part of you that thinks, this is way too fucking goofy for national television. But everyone is so fucking good that when it's over, you like rewind it four times and you laugh harder every time. Shivani interviews Britt Baker. And thank God they finally did it. She just was a baby face. She was arrogant, she was conceited, but she was talking about how she's there to offer people hope. And she gave me the champion AEW needs, the champion Pittsburgh deserves. I was I was flabbergasted, quite frankly, that they announced that this final match with MGF and Jericho is yeah. on TV next week. Because I thought for sure it was on the pay-per-view. And when you look at the uh, all-out lineup, I mean... It should be on the pay-per-view because we have no matches right now. So MJF announces a stipulation for next week. There will be no Judas. That means no theme song. You will come with a dead silence, he says. These schmucks will not be able to sing along to your crappy little song. Well, MJF did a tweet and pointed out it's Texas. Uh, they ain't going to know the words. <laughs> That's what MJF said, everyone. Don't get mad at us. Do we need to vote? Oh, we already said, I already filled it in, AEW wins. All right, and, AEW wins. And, and, and yeah, I'm not even sure what NXT is trying to do anymore. Well, we have agreed that we are going to do NXT at least through TakeOver. Yeah. And after that, we will reevaluate.